Io sono Letizia Battaglia. I am Letizia Battaglia. Letizia means joy. Battaglia means battle. Di diventare una scrittrice. No, l'amore... Sì, da piccola. A 12 anni poi sogniamo sempre l'amore. Era importantissimo per me l'amore. Mi innamoravo e mio padre mi puliva. She went to various newspapers looking for work and came to understand that she could earn a little bit more to support her daughters if she uh, also worked as a photographer. She bought a small camera. She began to take photographs very badly without professionalism. Then the newspaper Laura, after she'd been in Milan for three years, invited her to come to Palermo and direct their photographic service, and she became a professional full-time photographer. She learned everything on her own. At that point, the mafia had arrived in the city, and they were very involved with building speculation. The mafia went about things very brutally. There were many shootings, many murders, and at that point, 1974, the Mafia went after anyone who was against them. There ensued 20 very difficult years when she worked with a group of young photographers, including her daughter Shoba and her companion Franco Zekin. They worked day and night, never taking time off for Sunday, for Easter, for Christmas, holidays, because there was too much to do to confront. It was only for the newspaper, Laura, um, and they were rather poorly paid, but it was a newspaper that was anti-mafia, anti-fascist, and it was therefore very important to work with them. It became almost like a civil war. During these, these years, so many people, judges, police, activists, were, were murdered. Um, um, you know, they gave their lives fighting the mafia. For someone who wanted to have a happy, joyful life, to know that when the phone rang, she was going to be confronting someone dead, the, the, the wife and children crying, the terrible odor of blood, it was a nightmare. It was almost always at night, and it was horrible to, to go out at night. She still has that feeling every time the phone rings, that it's because there's been a murder or a shooting. It was really horrible. It's impossible to, to become used to this sort of violence, and it's, it's impossible to become cynical about it, for it to become routine. Volte abbiamo avuto le macchine buttate per terra, sputate in faccia. Abbiamo avuto paura, la polizia ci diceva andate, vene che qui succede un casino. Tanti. Giovani senza storia, senza, senza potere, gente che veniva punita. Ricordo che c'era stata un, un, un grande, una grande strage di sette persone, ma pensavo che fossero episodi sporadici. Poi lavorando giorno per giorno, giorno per giorno, in un periodo in cui la mafia è diventata insolente, prepotente. She never thought of herself as being courageous at all. And it wasn't a question of making beautiful photographs. It was a question of standing up to these people and saying, we are here, we're against you. Speaking to you now, I feel nauseous, but I, I feel that an obligation to remember and to speak about, to exhibit my photographs. I want all the world to know how people have suffered. We have suffered and we have believed in a possible struggle against the Mafia. It had gotten to a point where she wanted this pain, this rage that had grown within her to be shared with people. She had some exhibitions on the street in a village like Corleone, and she was afraid. She doesn't even like using this word, fear, but that's what it was. It was a duty. You don't even talk about it or think about it. It's, it's what you have to do in life. Life demands it. I believe in justice. 
and in the energy of love and of human beings, in the idea of respect and sharing. Mi piace camminare per Palermo e sedermi. Sono come un'ubriacona che ogni taverna entra e si beve un bicchiere di vino. A me piace sedermi e bermi un bicchiere di realtà, un bicchiere di, di cose che avvengono intorno. Niente di eccezionale, ma mi piace. I'm 74 now, and I'm nearing the end of my life, but I cannot accept that I will consign this world with such injustice to my children and my children's children, and I, I will continue to struggle. Yes, I'm in Sicily, but it's not just in Sicily. It's throughout the whole world that there's this sort of injustice. I received this award, the most important award in Germany, the Eric Solomon Award, and now this marvelous Cornel Kappa Infinity Award. It has made me weep. I love the camera, I love photography, I love photographers. It's been a very important part of me. I love the great photographers, but uh, here it's much more complicated. I'm not a photographer who gets assignments. I live here. I want to tell about the life here. And unfortunately that, that has involved a lot of death. I think the camera is an absolutely necessary complement to me. I couldn't have done it with writing. I've lived with the camera. It's as though it's in my heart and in my head. <laughs>